we're here at Misty Brook and we're in their heifer barn and also their lambing facility and I've targeted one of their rams to do this in this lesson because their ewes have all spent all this time lambing and uh, I don't want to stress them any stress them out any more than I need to. So today we're going to tip this sheep. And if you notice, I have my hand under his chin uh, and I pick his head up a little. It gives me more control over this ram. And I do have half an eye out for his buddy over there because they're a little protective over each other and they've been known to butt people. So um, this is not this guy's first encounter with me and I think he's getting a little defensive, but uh, We'll do a little bit of tipping, kind of the, the standard way that I learned. And they have this really handy space in between their, teeth, their front teeth and their back teeth. And I'm gonna stick my thumb in there for a little bit of extra leverage when I control his head. And I'm gonna fold his head back to his hip and push down on his hips. And he should, he should go down. And it can happen kind of fast because the fast, he's a little bigger than I'm used to, and the faster I can do it, the better. Okay, now that I've got him down, I make sure that I have a nice wide stance, and all I'm gonna do is pin his head under my elbow, pick up on his legs, and roll him up onto his butt. So, for anybody that's tried to handle sheep before and had a little trouble, if you tip him up on his pin bones, that's where he can run away. So I'm going to roll him back onto that downside hip. And if I roll him back far enough, he'll just chill out. And this is something really unique to sheep. But while I've got him down here is where I can do a really handy health exam. It's also where the shearers put them to shear because they shear them in a way that's like unzipping a jacket. They'll run their clippers down their belly and open up their wool out to the sides. So he's kind of mad at me. He'd like to strike me. Um, I can check his ears. I can check his teeth and his nose. I can check his eyes, the quality of his eyes. And I can do a FAMACHA score while he's here. For those of you unfamiliar, unfamiliar FAMACHA scoring is checking for barber pole worms. The barber pole worms drink blood and the your animals will get anemic and it'll show up in their eyelids as very, very pale on the inside of their eyelid. So the other thing we look at when we're down here on a ram, I check to make sure his penis is okay. I can, I can check his nipples because the udder, cheap placement on the udder, even on males is hereditary. I can check his scrotum. You can measure his circumference. That's um, a good indicator of fertility. Now, the other thing you can do is some shearers will trim their feet and some won't. So apparently this guy's name is Henry. Henry's actually in need of a, a hoof trimming. And what you're looking for is you see this extra tissue on the sides and on the back. And if you dig out all this manure, He's got a bit on his toes. So you can take a heavy set of kitchen shears or a nice sharp knife and you trim off this extra and you trim off the tip and clean up the back and that keeps moisture and manure from building up in their feet and causing hoof rot. Um, it's also something you can breed for is hoof rot resistant sheep uh, and that that will keep you from having to trim them all the time but if you have really docile sheep it's better to do it than not so if you want to learn to shear I suggest um, foregoing the YouTube videos and learning from a professional shearer uh, because you'll get that hands-on on how to roll them around and which way to go and how to hold your shears. And I guess that's it. So I'm gonna let this guy go. 
I just tip him forward and stand him up. And it'd be, he's a big lazy bum. He's actually kind of used to the kids riding him, so. Handle them with respect. Try to keep in mind that whatever actions they're doing when they're small and cute are going to be dangerous when they're adults and weigh two or 300 pounds or more. So that's the sheep barn.